Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled Planet X and the Total Solar Eclipse of 1860. Now on 18th July 1860 there was a total solar eclipse which was carefully observed from Spain and various drawings still exist showing the sun's corona during the event. Now the Carrington event of 1859 which seems to have been due to an intense solar flare and which had caused telegraph lines to fail and even fires in certain telegraph offices and which had been followed by intense aurora had recently occurred, which may then have made the opportunity of studying the sun's corona during the 1860 eclipse very attractive to the astronomers of the time. It is also believed that the 1860 solar eclipse was the first time that a coronal mass ejection or CME event was observed. And indeed, some of the drawings of the corona during the eclipse do indicate that a CME event may have occurred. But the first of the drawings seems to show something else. And this is the first of those drawings. Um, this one on the right seems to indeed show a coronal, plas uh, coronal plasma disconnecting from the sun. So you can see it curving, it's still curving away towards the sun. So it may have been connected on one side and then disconnected. And therefore it may be indeed showing a CME event in progress. But this drawing um, shows a ring of corona surrounding an object in the shape of an ellipsoid. So, and it doesn't seem to be connected to the sun at all. It seems to be separated from the sun here. So uh, this does not seem to be at all associated with a CME. A developing CME grows away from the sun whilst remaining connected with the sun and then finally disconnects and moves away from the sun. So the fact that the ring of corona in this left image is separate from the sun from the beginning indicates that it is not a developing CME. And here we see a developing CME, it's still connected on both sides. And it looks like a chaotic plasma loop or a plasma loop that destabilizes and thus erupts away from the sun. It's in the, progress, in the process of erupting away from the sun. It usually looks like it is being pulled or torn away from the sun. But the plasma uh, surrounding the object in the drawing, which we can see here, uh, was already disconnected was already disconnected so it doesn't seem to be a developing CME at all and here we see a developing CME again and it looks like a plasma loop it starts out looking somewhat like a plasma loop here it's starting to disconnect it disconnects on one side and this part moves away from the sun this somewhat what we are seeing here where this has disconnected but it's still curved towards the sun so um, it means that it most likely was connected to the sun at an earlier time so it looks like a developing CME thus the drawings of the sun's corona from the 1860 total solar ex eclipse seem to show that a stellar core was then in the sun's corona and that the object provoked the sun into having a CME. In other words, what we were seeing is a separate object. You can see it's about a third of the size of the sun. It's a huge object. It's surrounded by a ring of uh, CME plasma but it seems to be an object completely separate from the sun and its round shape indicates that it's most likely a solid object. Now uh, there is evidence that by 1850 the planet X system of stellar cores had started invading the solar system as this was when noctilucent clouds which are produced by stellar core debris started being observed on earth. And you may look at article 146 entitled Planet X System Time of Arrival 
and Article 272 entitled Noctibus and Clouds and Planet X Debris in the Earth's Atmosphere for more details. These objects absorb energy from the sun and the energy absorption process results in CMEs and solar flares. And you may look at Article 2 on inter Interplanetary Climate Change entitled Planet X Causes Solar Flares for more details. And here is an illustration of what actually occurs in the interaction between the sun, which would be like a hot object, and the stellar core, which would be like a cold object, because the stellar core is very low in energy. It's an energy-depleted star or a dead star. So what happens is, because the sun would have a lot more energy than the stellar core, energy flows from the sun, from the interior of the sun, towards the stellar core. And a connection is made between the two, and more energy uh, flows uh, through this connection. It also causes the surface of the sun to become hotter. And when the surface of the sun becomes hotter, and, and not just hotter, but more active, the electric field at this point, just below the stellar core, increases substantially. And this then eventually results in an explosion of plasma, or CME, from the sun at this point. And at the same time, the stellar core is ejected with this coronal plasma. And for more details, you may look at Article 1 on Interplanetary Climate Change, entitled The Sun. And this is one of the reasons why we usually see uh, stellar cores within uh, coronal plasma. And this is the case here in this cactus image. You can see a stellar core moving away from the sun within CME plasma. And uh, this is another CME taking place. It looks like a, a very large circular object there as well, but not as clear as this one. So I usually point this one out. And this one is a Lasco C2 image of the sun from July 23rd, 2017. There was also a CME then. And this object, it was seen moving away from the sun with that CME plasma. And so these objects do move with CME plasma. They are ejected away from the sun at the same time as the CME. So they actually provoke the CME and then are ejected with the sun, um, from the, away from the sun with uh, the coronal plasma. Now, uh, this is a different set of drawings from the 1860 eclipse but they show a progression of events. So first we have this one, as you can see the object there, and you can see the object even seems to have stripes, this coronal plasma surrounding it, and some of this coronal plasma even continues upwards and away in this image. It is turned upside down in relation to the first ones we saw. Here we can see clearly that this uh, coronal plasma is separate from the sun. It's not connected to the sun at all. So these are shows a progression of images and this seems to indicate that uh, CME material exploding away from the sun and therefore a CME in progression. So um, this uh, was the first time that a CME seems to have been observed. So in conclusion, drawings from the total solar eclipse of 18 July 1860 show that the planet X system of stellar cores had already started arriving at the sun by 1860 and confirmed that these objects provoke the sun into having CMEs. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.